Jason. So today I thought we'd work on your grip pressure, arm pressure, and relaxation of your hands and arms in the golf swing. Okay, and as, as you know, being a very good college player, the pressure you put on the golf club and the connection you have to the golf club is as important as anything else in the golf swing. Okay, so let's just talk a few minutes about grip pressure. So if you just grip my hand for me, and what we're looking for is a balance between the amount of pressure you put on the club and wrist flexibility. So hands get too tight on the club, the wrist will lock up, which means your hands, wrists will not work well in the golf swing. Okay, so go ahead and set up to a golf ball for me. And let's just talk about the grip pressure and the arm pressure just at a dress position. And what you have is a very good waggle in your golf swing before you swing. So go ahead and waggle. No, I was talking about that waggle. Oh, we can't do that? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> So, any, so anyway, go ahead and set up to it. So what you do so well is your arms hang from your shoulders really nicely, which allows the arms to be relaxed, which allows the hands to be relaxed. So now move the club just a little bit before you swing it back, just to free up the grip pressure a little bit. So what would be your movement? What's your pre-swing waggle? There you go. And that relaxes your hands and arms? Perfect. So from that position, you can go ahead and swing the golf club without too much tension in your hands and arms, which makes sense. All right, so relax your hands and arms, and all I want you to think about is when you swing this golf club is maintaining that pressure in your hands and arms. Perfect, perfect, which allows you that freedom of motion. So if your pressure's out of there, it allows you movement, number one. It allows you freedom of motion, number two, and then it allows us to change your golf swing as we might need to from that relaxed position.